Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Just what you got rolling there, Roberto. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. <clears throat> Just drop the middle. Eat it. That looks chunky. Dude, look at that thing. Come on, Mino, move. I just need some more. Look how fat that thing is. Come on, Dude, he's good. He's gonna eat it anyway. Oh. Yep. It didn't grab it. He didn't get it, did he? Nope. That was pretty cool to see. That what? was insane. That sun just popped out and one just coasted right in and swiped at it. And we just got a flag back here, but there was some people walking by it, so it might not be anything. Let's see. It spun a little, but it's not now. We're good. We got one. Yep. Almost a double, dude. Reset that thing and we'll see if we can get doubled up here. Totally loose. Definitely some line out though. Jeez. Dang, dude, there is some fish around. Yeah, that was a fat one in the shack. Jeez. Just like that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Sun pops out. Almost a double. Granted, we didn't get either yet. Yet. But uh, wow, that was uh, quite exciting. I mean, literally, they were the same time. Well, guys, welcome to another. Uh Trophy Pike Hunt. Feels good to be back. We're back! We forgot to do an intro, but now it seems like a good time while things are happening. <laughs> yeah, things are pepping up. We are on another giant pike mission. So glad to be back again. I'm, bad. I'm glad I'm back home and uh, chasing these animals. It's a little different than the Northwoods. They're here. <laughs> Dude, there is some absolute mongo pike in this water and they're right under us right yeah. now. There's no doubt, man. So cool. So weird being on, what, four or five inches of ice when it's 13 inches up north. So this is nice. The easy walking. walking. Is easy. Yep. Yeah. Everything's yeah. good. First ice down here. So <laughs> kind of funny how that works. Hopefully we'll have a giant pike for you uh, in the next coming moments. But until that fish bites, want to say a huge thank you to all the folks that got us over the 50K mark. Absolutely. Man. Very cool journey. <laughs> Remember once upon a time we were like, man, if we could get to like five, five to 10,000. that would be awesome. Now we're at 50. Super cool. Thank you guys. Ugh. We owe it all to you. Absolutely. Okay, let's, uh, I'll keep snacking and then they'll bite. I hope so. Flags up. I don't know if you said it. I did say it. She's rolling. She's rolling. The camera. Oh, you just going for it. It's fine. It's right? Okay, in the shack, it worked. You got her? I got her. This is kind of a cluster in the shack here. Oh, why not? What's the, Oh, wow, is it clear? I can see I know, the see bottom. bottom. Okay, Get she's very cool. Yep, she is coming that way. Okay. We're good. We're clear. <laughs> We're clear. Hope okay. We got that on the camera. Dude. Oh, it is so clear right now. It's not real. Oh, there we go. Feels like an average fish out here, I'm going to say. Probably the one that came in on the cam. I would. It would be interesting. That thing was fat on the underwater, so. Right. Yeah, I don't think it was super long, but it was definitely a tub. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Oh, there we go. It's not that big, but it is fat. I got pliers right here with me. Always keep your pliers on you. Don't run to your tip up without pliers. And Robbie, where's the jaw spreader? <laughs> we got two pliers for that, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Might be a two man operation. Oh man, it had the hook inside, so that's why it's fighting harder. They're able to close their mouth better when they've got that hook inside. <laughs> and we are using, what is that, 30 pound fluoro liter? Yep, so it's plenty. 
that's why we definitely let them run a little bit. Don't put too much pressure. Oh, that's so cool down there. Okay, one more. Man, I could probably lean on them a little more, but it's kind of fun. I like this. Get that sandy bottom. Look at that. That is so cool. Uh, be able to shoulder them. <laughs> you got them. There we go. On the board. Well, that's a nice little warmer upper. It's it's chunky. It's a pike. Get your pike on. Okay. Let's see where we are here. Perfect. Just in the roof. Okay. On the board. This is, I would say, the one that came in on us. Uh, just couldn't tell how long it was, but you can see it's certainly healthy. There's fish around. There's one bug in the other the other minnow as well so we will uh onward and upward that's a nice little warmer upper though look how clear that is <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> we are absolutely <laughs> soaked. soaked wow he was angry the classic gator send off <laughs> i'll take it like that. All right, holy cow. Okay, I think I'll take her now. Got her. Ah, oh, finally, something heavier than a 14 inch northern. <laughs> a lot of that this, this winter. Don't think it's real big, but. Kind of a dry spell there. Yeah, it's been a while. Coming right at me. Must be about what, 1.30? Yeah. Two? Two o'clock. Is there a fish on there? <laughs> there is a fish on there. And it's actually bigger than the last one. Wow. It's okay. a nice fish. All right. Just going the other way. Yep. Oh, this clear water fishing is very cool. Uh, can you shoot down this thing? Um, not so bad. Very cool. Very cool. Finally, get my sleeves wet here. Maybe. <laughs> Back down you go. Oh, love this time of year. Ice thickness is not 13 inches like up in northern Wisconsin, so it's a lot easier to grab these guys. Okay. Let me grab you, buddy. Alrighty. Just a fat chunker. <laughs> Maybe he is shorter. Just a chunky guy. Gotta love it. Oh, so cool. Love it down here. <laughs> All right, got the hook out there. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Fat, chunky pike. Not the giants we're after, but nice warmer upper for the season. Oh, sun is setting though, and maybe we got another window here. Hopefully. Moon's at four bells. Yeah, moon's at four, so that's exciting. But gosh, it's nice to see some fat belly pike though. Okay, let's get her back. That is so cool. Love that skinny ice. Splashing us, they keep splashing us, but cool, cool, cool. Get another minnow. It is uh, go time, hopefully. All right, let's go through the rig here. Using jumbo shiners, always our favorite bait. And uh, this is a number eight treble hook here. And you'll see one thing Lee showed me back in the day is doing a rapala knot, right? Correct, a loop knot, whatever you would want to call that. And that just keeps that hook nice and free. I don't know, looks better on the bait for sure instead of a, you know, tying a polymer or something like that. Hooking them right in front of the dorsal. Grabbing a little more uh, meat there just so you don't have them ripping off the bait. Uh, one thing that I learned, I don't know if it holds true or not, but one thing watching that uh, underwater footage over the last couple of days, uh, weeks I should say, um, seeing those pike cruise in from under the ice and coming down to the bait because I had the camera lower and it, I'll play a clip here but it was interesting I mean these fish could just be right under the ice obviously today there's one that came in just 
on the bottom, but keeping that bait high is not a bad thing. So we, we only got maybe six inches out of line and then just the leader. And that worked on that setup here. Hey, what's your leader? Oh, wow. Is that kind of important? <laughs> <laughs> Should we bring this back out again? 30 pound fluorocarbon with a somewhat small swivel there. But yeah, 30 pound fluoro for 40 inch gators. We don't pull real hard. We're not trying to rip them up the hole. We want to fight the fish, let them play, up, play out a little bit, just so you don't have any break offs. And it's always important to check out, check that leader so you don't have any teeth marks. And it's simple to retie, so that's the rig. Hopefully we get another flag here. 40 incher coming 40 up incher. at four o'clock. Yeah, that would be awesome. I hope so. Oh, jingle bells. Not a lot of spinny. I love having bells on my tip up. I got nothing. Looks like we're gonna get another one here. Oh, yep, there it goes. Just grabbed it. Oh, oh, we got ourselves a quarter. What was I saying? <laughs> now, what I want to know, did he just swim up to it? Or what? Oh, there's the stop. I do. Oh, oh, nice head shakes. Okay, like but I've not caught <laughs> any pike this year other than the one earlier today. So <laughs> now it's just kind of coming at me here. No, it, that feels like some weight there. There's the leader and there, that feels like nice head shakes. Er, the thing is out here, every fish is pretty much nice. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that's some weight. Yeah. Ooh, she's going. Ooh, I kind of <laughs> like this. This is fun. Very exciting. <laughs> High five. <laughs> High five. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's, how big are you? I have grabbed the bump board. It's not that big, no. but it's it's nice. I'll take it. Holy cow, so fun though, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's bigger than the other one, but it's definitely not what lives in this lake. Well, I guess it does, it does live, live in this technically lake. Technically speaking. Technically, does. yes, that is correct. But <laughs> there is much bigger ones in here. A couple, we got several good warmer uppers. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one's peppy. I think uh, he's got that hook inside the mouth a little bit. So like I was saying before, they're able, to, whoa, <laughs> they're able to swim that much faster when they're able to close that beak. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's not giving up. Like who would not have fun doing this? Look at that. There we go. Oh, the hook is in the corner. All right, there we go. Not too bad, not shabby, not a mongo, not a monster, but perfect, uh, perfect specimen. Okay, we got ourselves a respectful little chunky eater. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take this action throughout the course of the day so we can just get that one big one at sunset. Perfect, they are so cool. Pike love winter. Me, not so much, but I'm having a good time right now. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> okay, moving on up. All right, thank you, Robbie. Got another golden shiner here. I like to put it about halfway between the dorsal and the head, just one time through like so. Bada boom, bada bing. We're only in about, I don't know, seven feet of water so we're keeping the thing pretty much pretty close to the leader and you may notice uh our little well we got snow in them now but our little addition of uh jingle bells on here so that way uh if you're close enough you can easily hear those bells clanking like that jingling like that and it lets you know you've got a fish immediately so that way you can kind of look over at the at the tip up and see if the fish takes off right away 
Um, plus, when you find out sooner that there's a fish on, you're less apt to have the fish swallow your hook. So all the fish have been hooked perfect today. So uh, generally, I run to a tip up fairly quick, or you know, at least keep an eye on it uh, on the way over to it. So yeah, we'll take it. So folks, one thing Robbie and I like on our ice fishing expeditions is the Lakewood uh, tip up box. Um, it may have another name. Ice pack. Ice pack. Yes. Thank you, Robbie. That's why you're always there for me, buddy. <laughs> Which is really cool because we can keep all of our tip ups isolated. Boom, just like that. So you don't have things falling out of your sled. You don't have uh, the hooks on the tip ups hooking your jacket and crap inside of your uh, sled, of course. And look, Robbie's even, look how prepared. He's got some little <laughs> walleye leaders. Some walleye leaders ready to go, just like so. And of course, uh, the Lakewood here is made in the good, good old U.S. of A. And in Wisconsin, as a matter of fact, too. And not only, of course, the inside storage, you can wear it as a backpack. Look at this. You can actually wear the thing if you're trekking into some small, out-of-the-way reaches uh, into the woods like Robbie likes to go. Anyhow, and then, of course, you've got uh, you, some Velcro here. You could put in some you know, jig poles or whatever and lock them in like that. You've got your pliers and uh, hookouts and uh, whatnot. And then, of course, you got like a nice big, big deal here like that where you can shove pretty much anything. Wet gloves, uh, hats, whatever, mind you. And then, of course, we got some nice storage container like that. We've got our trusty Terminator titanium wire and we've got some uh, fluorocarbon in here. All kinds of good stuff you would have for your ice fishing supplies, uh, stuff like that. And what else can I tell you about it? Well, actually, it is one hell of a seat. When you're waiting for the fish to eat, boom, you just plop a squat, just like that. So that is the Lakewood products, and uh, it's the ice pack, so I like it. <laughs> it's comfy. <laughs> this break brought to you by Clutch Energy Drink and chicken protein pro staff and fritos the twisties twisty flavor twists <laughs> what else you got rolling there what are you watching just watching some keys outdoors while we wait for some pikes to eat all right that yeah. a boy mike nice yeah, fish he's got one yeah this is entertaining <laughs> yeah, oh chaos, chaos tackle nice, nice. Chaos, he's using the assault sticks that's i see cool. that's cool all right yeah that's a good first musky of the season it's always fun watching musky videos. Doesn't matter who it is. No, awesome. absolutely. <laughs> All right. Time on the ice too. <laughs> Here's to a nice musky. Whoa! There we go. The far one. Come on, Robbie. Right, Make this cool. the one. There you go. That's a good fish. Oh, That's what I thought before. Yeah. Those are some crazy edges. I don't think she peeled up much line. Wow. Yes, losing. Charging. Holy cow. You still got it? Still got it. All right. Okay. What are you in? Some weeds, maybe? Yes, this is the hole that had the weedies. Come on. Okay. Come on. I want to see you. I think it would be easy when you're that close. It's not a bad one. Holy cow. Whoa, that was a shake. That was a shake. Oh my gosh, I don't have the line. <laughs> Robbie, hold the line. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Three nice hits, fish. Yeah. one air. This is a nice fish. About time. Is Didn't... it bit really? It's bigger? It's not, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Just seems like cookie cutter day today. I know. It's until a bit it's not. It's certainly heavier. Uh, oh, I could not even see it. Yeah, gosh. Mm, bye bye. Bye bye. That is crazy. <laughs> These ones are just fighting so hard today. These are uh, a little more peppy than the ones up, the, up right, north, right? Right, huh? those uh, 14 inches. <laughs> the bait ones. Oh, it was cool to see those was, on underwater. It was though. entertaining, but. Maybe is... we should set up the camera on this hole. <laughs> no kidding. There's some things happening in this hole. 
Come on, give it up this time, leader. We got Floro. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice a good one. one. Yep, that's a good one. Oh boy, here we go. Got her. Oh no, I don't Jeez. got her. Dude, that thing that's just worked you. <laughs> oh, that doesn't happen often, folks. Now he's really making me mad. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, that sucked. I had my hand in that whole gill. It, it looked perfect. It looked good. It just... Oh yeah, nice. Got it. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's a nice one. A nice gator. Whew. That is what we're after. A beautiful oh, mid 30s, upper 30s size fish right there. Oh my gosh, that feels good to be in that gill play right now. I don't even have a hat on, took my jacket off. What a beautiful day in January. Oh, that is exciting, that is exciting stuff. Let's get that hook out. All right, got that hook out, it was perfect in the corner. Let's take one more look at this beautiful animal. Gosh, is that fun holding something like this on the ice? It's hard to do this up north, but it is awesome down here to do it. Oh, it is such a beautiful, beautiful animal. Perfect build, look at that, that is just amazing. Oh, so awesome. Let's get her back. Oh man, that is cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Splash. I like that. A little bit of thin ice and some nice gators. All right. One more for you, Lee. That's Let's a do sporty it. model there. That's a good one. Uh, sign me up for yeah. one. <laughs> Well, folks, that's pretty much a wrap, and I would say a successful day on the ice. Yeah, first time out on this body of water this year, and can't complain with a beautiful pike like that. No. <laughs> I no. mean, anywhere else in the state, that is just top-notch day. Oh, yeah. But out here, it's a little different, and that's what makes this place so special. So, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Might not be a 43 and a half inch yep. like you nailed out yep. here a couple of years ago, but uh, at any rate, that we'll was take it. Yep. definitely a stellar outing. We will take it. Well, it was certainly awesome to have Robbie back in town again and get back on the old yep. stomping grounds together. Yep, absolutely. It was good. good time to go uh, get fitted for a tuxedo. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that, that is a thing. That is why I was down here. So <laughs> it worked out good, got that done and got a cool little pike video done. <laughs> Can't beat that. <laughs> Big moves for Robbie yep, here. Yep, crazy things are happening, but um, I think that's all we got for you folks. Yeah, thank you so much <laughs> for all your support. Uh, looking forward, we've got some uh, some musky stuff kind of in the works here. Yep. Um, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, yep. Hopefully. We uh, are excited about it. Yeah, though. we got some cool ideas. So I know the ice fishing uh, isn't everybody's gag, so yep. um, we'll mix it up here a little bit. Yeah, uh, no. so, yeah. Excited to get that rolling. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, make sure to check us out, of course, on Instagram and Facebook as well. We kind of fail to mention that. Yeah, uh, yep. Please check us out on those forums. Exactly. If those you guys, platforms. It's easier. If you guys got questions to leave in the YouTube comments, it's just easier to reach us, reach us that way. That's definitely the most. Right, right. Easy. Or Instagram yeah. as well. Yeah, yep. So, And then you've got your own Instagram page. Yep. And I've got one for myself. And, of course, we yep. have a Today's Angler Instagram. Uh, that's it. That's yeah. a wrap, guys. Thank you so much. See you on the next <laughs> Sorry. video. <laughs>